Hi, everyone. Thanks for uh, logging in on another Tuesday at noon. Um, just a heads up, I'm having some internet uh, issues. So um, I'm crossing everything that I can possibly cross um, and setting really good energy that the internet will not uh, fall apart during our uh, 45 minutes together, okay? So if we lose each other, know that it's out of my control. <laughs> and um, what I'll probably have you do, Alicia, is just stay on and then we'll see, depending on where we are in the session, we'll either have you log on through your phone and finish it out. Or if we're near the end, we can just we can just call it too. Okay. So with that, um, hello everyone and welcome to our 2021 spring webinar series of mindful movement. I'm Misty Lorenz with Monona Terrace and on your screen is Alicia Wright. Mindful Movement is held every Tuesday at noon through May 18th. At the end of this session, um, if we're able to make it that far, we will be offering Q&A um, for you to ask questions about today's session. You can do this by clicking the Q&A icon on your screen and typing in the text box that appears. A reminder that um, copies of these webinars are posted on Monona Terrace's website on the Mindful Movement page. Um, reminder to scroll down the page to see videos. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Group Health Cooperative of South Central Wisconsin for making this program available. And with that, I'll hand it over to Alicia. Hi, Alicia. Hi. <laughs> Hello, thanks everyone. Um, let's start by just finding a really comfortable seated shape. Um, and as always, just that little pre-warning, like look around uh, you know, make sure there's no cords or cats or books or anything you might trip on. You have a nice, uh, steady surface. It's safe. You feel supported. Um, and you can start on your back. You can start uh, sitting. Uh, maybe you're as fortunate as I am. I found this really lovely place in the sun. And it feels a tad like summer right where I'm sitting. It's just really sunny and warm. So Maybe you even leave your mat for a little bit and go find uh, some sunny spot in your house. We're going to spend about five minutes just grounding and breathing. So as you settle into your, into your shape, giving yourself some time to arrive in this moment. And so as we transition from what we were doing a few moments ago into our bodies, just giving ourselves time to put things on pause, to settle, open ourselves up with some curiosity and some kindness. And noticing here what anchors you, what helps you feel grounded and supported. You might feel or notice that grounding in your physical body. You might notice that through your mental landscape or your breathing. Each one of us has our own very unique connection to feeling and knowing that we're grounded and anchored. So we'll just take a few moments to, to explore that. And grounding, remember, works on a continuum. So we might feel really grounded and anchored. And then we might not feel as grounded and anchored. And so as we're all just right now sitting, what's your connection to grounding in this present moment, in this breath? In the relationship of this moment of being aware 
of our grounding as we then notice our relationship to our breathing, just letting ourselves be a part of the breath. And as we open with awareness and curiosity to our breathing, observing, feeling, practicing the inhale, focusing, being present with your exhale. And maybe you've already noticed, right, that your mind has totally you wandered off. You're daydreaming, and that is just wonderful if you're daydreaming. Maybe you're still feeling counting your breath, and that's wonderful too. Each one of us just pausing to notice our very unique experience. Let's take about five more breaths here. I'm just letting your curiosity and your awareness come back to your physical body. You might start to gently let your eyes open if they were closed. And where I thought we might head today for the next uh, few minutes together of our practice is to just kind of move through the spine. I don't know how any of you feel when it gets really cold. I feel like I just kind of shiver up and hold everything up really tight. My shoulders kind of draw up. I feel like my skin gets really tight on my body and I just feel really constricted. So I thought we would just work on, you know, like opening up a little bit and just moving our bodies, especially like moving through the spine and trying to follow the breath a little more. So we're gonna start in dead bug because that helps us build a connection to our breathing. And it also helps us stay a little more anchored to core strength and to our grounding. So we're gonna start by flipping onto your backs into your constructive rest pose, right? And so we'll just pause. You can bring your hands down by your side. And we're just gonna right, try and bring the awareness right into your body to feel just three breaths. So if you're really distracted today, just be aware that you're really distracted and you might wanna count your breathing. If you're feeling right, more, connected, right? It's like, oh, it's so easy to follow my breath today, then just settle in. But if you're feeling distracted, know that's really, really normal. And you can just count. So let's all count three inhales and three exhales here. And then when you come to your fourth inhale, you're gonna bring your arms up. So you're gonna wait till you feel an inhale. And then you're gonna move from the inhale and bring your arms up. And then you're gonna to wait to feel your next inhale and bring your knee up, it doesn't matter, pick one knee. And then your next inhale, you're gonna bring your opposite knee up and we'll bend the elbows. Okay, so then right here in this dead bug shape, so bent knees and bent elbows, we'll take three more breaths. So again, right? Count if you need to count. Settle into your body embodiment, noticing, feeling, being in your breath. And then the challenge is going to be moving from the sound or feel of your breath. So you're going to wait. And when you feel, right, or notice your inhale, you're going to go inhale, and then you're going to extend. 
Feel the exhale. Bend. Inhale. Exhale. So I'm going to be quiet for a little bit. So you have the opportunity to just hear your breath without my voice. And moving from your breath, if you want to go contralateral, opposite arm, opposite leg, then moving contralaterally, still from the sound or feel of your breath. Finishing this round, maybe that's one or two more so you feel even. We'll pause on your back. And then with an exhale, you can let all the limbs come down. And then we'll just settle onto our back for a five breath short grounded meditation. So noticing and feeling again, what is your anchor? Maybe, right, you're distracted and you need to count the breath. That's normal. Feeling one more inhale, one more exhale. And then we're going to roll over to the easiest side. So whatever is the easiest side for you to roll over onto, we're going to roll over onto the side. We're going to find like a side tabletop shape. So you could come up on your elbow, right? You could come down on your wrist. You could come all the way down on your arm. Okay. So we want to stack hips, stack your ribs and stack your shoulders. Okay. Just like we did in that first shape. All right. So look down, right? It doesn't have to be exact, but noticing, right? Top hip stacked. Rib stacked, shoulder stacked, okay? So careful that you're not taking that top hip back, right? Or pushing your chest really far forward, okay? So this top arm is gonna come down and it's gonna help you feel that shoulder blade on your back. So this is about opening through this front side of your chest through this pec muscle, okay? So this arm can come down and then you can take this top arm bone and draw it back. Okay, so if you've been sitting at a computer a lot, rounding forward, right, it might be easy for the shoulder blade to round off your back and you're like this, right? If you're cold, right, and you kind of been, oh, I'm so cold, you might be like this. So like, just, oh, exhale, let the shoulder just naturally draw down a little bit, right? Draw the arm bone back, just give this a little more openness and space, all right? So we really want to try and keep that in our awareness. And then your knees are bent and we're going to straighten your top leg. And when you straighten that top leg, make sure it's just about as high as your hip. Okay. So we don't need to go higher. If this is too much, you're going to go lower, right? Then we're going to hold this rectangular core area really strong. We want as little movement there as possible as we start to swing your leg. Okay. So you're going to swing that leg in flexion and then back behind you in extension. Okay, getting stronger and more connected behind your navel in front of your low back. You can flex your foot and you can point it as it comes back. All right. Now I would suggest, right, doing the first one's pretty slow so you can start to feel the movement. And then as you get the movement down, right, you move from your breathing again. Exhale. Inhale. I'll be quiet and we'll do a few more. Okay, how about two more? And when you finish two more with your breathing, we'll just stack the legs back. Eight. 
I'm gonna use this strength here, right? So we're gonna to have to connect to that upper back shoulder blade, right? Those muscles, core muscles. And we're just gonna push ourselves up and come to the other side. So give yourself a couple moments, right? To build your shape, right? So remembering, right? Shoulder down out of your ears. Careful we're not doing this. Top right shoulder. Careful you're not rounding forward, especially right if you've been typing a lot or driving, right? This might be what we're used to. So you're gonna take this arm bone and draw back, right? Hips, ribs, shoulders, right? Stack, just like when we were in the back on constructive rest pose. When you feel strong, steady, ready for it, you're gonna straighten that leg. Right, try to keep your hips stacked, ribs stacked, strong through your core as you start to swing that leg. And once you get that swing down, you can point and flex the foot if you want, and then move from your breathing. So I'll be quiet so you can have the opportunity to hear your breath. We have about two more. And when you're ready, stack your knees. Right. Reconnect to the strength. Feel the shoulder blades on your back. Right. Connect through your core, right? Through here, right? Through here, right? And then push on up, and we're going to come to tabletop. So we're gonna build a really strong table. You might come back to that idea that we use often, right? Those points of contact, ears in line with shoulders, shoulders in line with ribs and hips, right? So careful you're not sagging down through the spine, right? Careful you're not tucked too much through your tailbone, right? And for some of us, right? Maybe the shoulder is hiking up, or the head really pitching forward. So again, right, if we think of this from a place of body awareness, just slowing down, noticing your body in space and giving yourself time to really build your tabletop. Where do you feel grounded and strong? And where do you feel your breathing? And wherever you notice your breathing, let's take three, breaths of mindfulness right into that place. So wherever you notice your breath, breathe into that place. Good, one more full exhale. Okay, then we're gonna work on cat-cow. And in this version of cat-cow, we're gonna try and keep your head lifted, okay? For as long as you can. So oftentimes when we do cat-cow, the head will come forward when we start to tuck the chin, okay? So in this version, we're gonna try and keep your head nice and lifted as high as your shoulders, okay? You might have a little bend in your elbows and that might be really helpful so you're not locking your elbows and really hurting your wrists, okay? So you wanna make sure, right, that you feel strong through your upper back, down through your arms. If you need to, come to your fists, okay? So head up in line with your shoulders. Then we're just gonna start there and tuck your chin. So nice and slow, tuck your chin and see, oh, did I drop my head? And then as you tuck your chin, right, you're gonna feel that chin and then maybe redirect some of that feeling into your neck going down your back, vertebra by vertebra, upper back, middle back, ribs, kidneys, low back, pelvis. And then you find your cat and hang out there. And then slide your chin forward out of your sternum. So we're gonna go into your cow from your chin first. Chin goes forward, length. 
and then articulating, right? Nice and strong. Neck, back, mid back, kidneys, low back, pelvis. Hold your cow, right? Then comes your cat one more time. Ears high with your shoulders, tuck your chin. And then just thoughtfully try to pay attention all the way through your vertebrae into your cat. When you get to your cat, pause. And then thoughtfully cow, chin drawing forward. Articulating down your back, through your joints, through to your tail. All right, then we're going to do three, just following your breath. So you can exhale, whatever feels most natural to you, exhaling into your calf, inhaling into your calf, and just listening and feeling the breath in relationship to how your body is moving. So after you've done three cat cows, you can either come back to tabletop or sit back into a child's pose to rest your wrists a little bit. And then we take five breaths in a meaningful short meditation. So very short meditation, let's make it meaningful. Reconnect to five breaths. Notice your present time experience. Maybe your mind has drifted off. You can come back to maybe your body or your breath as an anchor. And then we'll take one full inhale and exhale together. And then with your next exhale, we'll just figure out how to come all the way on up to standing. So we're going to come on up to standing, just finding good old standing mountain pose. Okay. And if it's okay and you feel comfortable doing it, you can put your hands on your rib cage or you can keep your hands down by your side. Okay. So we're going to find right, a traditional automatic standing shape, right? If you were standing at home, going to brush your teeth, how would you stand? And then bringing some curiosity down into your feet, noticing where the weight of your body settles into your feet. And maybe that's in the balls of your feet more, maybe that's in your heels more. When you notice that, then can you seek a little more evenness, front foot, mid foot, back foot. Slight little easy bend in your knee. Maybe you notice you lock your knees. So we want a little soft bend in your knee. And then we're all going to take three inhales and three exhales together. I'm going to focus on feeling what your ribs do here in your hands when you breathe. So when you take an inhale, what do you feel through those floating ribs? What do you feel when you exhale? Two more breaths. And then just letting your arms come down. So maybe you notice when you were breathing, right? That feeling of expansion going out with your inhale and that coming back in with your exhale. So we're gonna let our arms just follow that feeling of the ribs, okay? So arms are gonna relax to the side. We're gonna stay nice and anchored, aware of the feet, aware of the lower body. We're just gonna, each one of us, find our own unique breathing rhythm. 
And I let the arms move from the breath. Okay, so when I inhale, it's like my inhale floats my arms out and my exhale floats my arms back in. We're gonna do this about five to eight times. So I'm letting the arms move from the breath. Two more breaths. And then we're going to just settle. I'm just going to add on. So this time, right, I'm going to inhale, let the arms come out. We're going to hold the arms through the exhale. Inhale, they might go a little wider. Hold through the exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And then exhale, arms to the side. We're going to do that two more times, right? So the arms move from your breath. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Four breath rhythm. One more time for you. Inhale from your breath. Okay, let's turn this into sun salutation arms. So with your inhale, arms go out all the way up this time. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. So remember, if you need to bend your knees a lot, bend your knees a lot. We're gonna fold over. Just let your head hang. Wait to feel your inhale. When you feel your inhale, then your chest lifts. Exhale, fold. We're gonna walk our hands and feet out, downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna build our downward facing dog, or if you prefer, drop your knees and take tabletop. Okay, if tabletop or down dog are rough on your wrist, remember you can always come down on your forearms. You can also always come to fist, okay? So each one of us is gonna build one of those shapes, and then when we get into that shape, we're going to pause and refine grounding, almost like how we started finding a grounding meditation. Practice that for five breaths. Come back to your body, to your present time experience. And then when you feel your exhale, exhale, walk your feet and your hands together. With your inhale, ground down, come all the way on up, full body stretch. Exhale, mountain pose for three breaths. Okay, let's do one more sun salutation together. Inhale from the breath, arms go out to come up. Bend your knees. When you feel your exhale, you move from the exhale to fold forward. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, forearm dog, tabletop, or child's pose. Finding a shape. Remember, you can always really bend your knees. You're looking, seeking length in your spine, in your down dog, and your tabletop. Using this shape for three breaths of a grounded meditation. With your next exhale, your exhale brings you back into your body. We're going to lower down to tabletop. 
build your tabletop and do three rounds of cat cow with your breathing. I'll be quiet so you can hear your breath and you can move from your own authentic breath rhythm. After your three breaths through your table, we meet back in downward facing dog. Take a full exhale. Inhale, walking your feet and hands together. Inhale, come all the way on up. Wait for your exhale. Arms come down. Three, four, five breaths standing. Coming back to your own present moment experience. What are you noticing? What are you feeling? Right? Maybe you've drifted way off. That's okay. We just want to have an awareness for our present time experience. Great. We're going to add on to this sun salutation. So wait for your inhale. And let the inhale lift the arms out to come up. Bend your knees as much as you need. Wait for your exhale to fold. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, find downward facing dog or tabletop or elbow dog or elbow table, maybe child's pose. Three breaths in this shape. Your next exhale, allow your exhale to bring you back to your present time experience. Nice full inhale. What do you feel in your body with your inhale? Exhale, lower down to tabletop. Okay, we'll take a little fork in the road. You might be really happy right here in table. You might want a little more challenge. So you might step your feet back and take a plank pose. So either a straight arm plank, remember your plank, your shoulders, right? So we don't wanna be sagging, okay? So if you can do a really strong plank and you feel strong in your back shoulder area, great. I'm gonna take five more breaths, just noticing your present time experience, whatever shape you're in. What's it feel like to be breathing right here? And then we're gonna exhale lower down to your knees. And we're gonna lower all the way down onto our bellies and work on opening up our chest a little bit and getting some extension through the upper back, all right? So you can come down, tuck your chin. Might feel like you're bringing your forehead really close to the floor and your hands are down by your rib cage, okay? And your elbows are a little bit out to the side. So we're not forcing the elbows really wide, but we're also not squeezing them in and pinching your shoulder blades together, okay? So let's all look down at the floor. Let your nose just hover, your eyes soften. And then can you find or feel, however you might connect through your body, length from the crown of your head to your toes. So I like to visualize my vertebrae like beads on a string. I'm trying to feel a little more space between each bead as I lengthen and I'm actively pulling my legs back out of my lower back, out of my kidneys, out of my shoulder blades. And then as I exhale, right, it helps me to soften my chest. Now it might not help you, but you might try it. As you exhale, just to soften through the chest a little bit, that might help your nose and chin get a little closer down to the floor. And then we're gonna bring our awareness underneath the shoulder blades. So if you need to roll your shoulder blades a little bit so you can go, oh, those are my shoulder blades. We're gonna take three inhales and just breathe under the shoulder blades.
And then grounding through your hands. You're gonna keep your eyes looking down. We're just gonna to start to lift the chest. So when you feel your inhale, eyes look down, lift your chest, your ribs stay down on the floor. And then we lower back down. I'm gonna do two more. So again, from your breath, inhale, ribs stay down, chest lifts. After three, just come back and breathe three breaths into your back. And use this as a short meditation again. And we're gonna slide our hands out like a Y. Okay, so you can keep them as a Y or you could take like a little bit of a bend like a goalpost. And you can press your forearms and press your palms down. Right? And as you're pressing your palms and your forearms down, pull your arm bones back. So like you're gonna pull your body forward. And that might help you feel a little more open across the chest, but also this helps us maintain strength across the upper back. And then like we did earlier, keeping your ribs down, you're just gonna lift the chest, exhale, lower down. And let's do five. And again, I'm being really quiet so you can hear yourself breathe. So your breath helps you stay in your body and it's your cue to move. After you've done what feels like five, maybe you're counting, we'll just bring your hands together and you can just let your forehead rest. And then we'll take about five breaths on our belly. And again, it's a really nice time just noticing your present time experience. One more full deep breath. And then we'll press ourselves back up to tabletop. When you get to your tabletop, right, your choice, you could sit back in child's pose or maybe come and do three more cat cows with your breath. After three cat cows or about five to eight breaths in your child's pose, We'll transition to sitting and crisscross applesauce. So we'll just come and find crisscross applesauce. So if you have really tight hips, really tight low back, sit up on a blanket, okay? Or sit up on a block. Um, books can be nice as long as they're steady, right? So if your knees are really high, right? And this is kind of uncomfortable, just sit up, right? All right, so we're gonna find those two sit bones. You might put a little weight side to side. And we're just gonna come back to grounding those sit bones. So letting those sit bones feel really heavy in your body, like roots. And when we root down, right? Roots go down and they get really wide, All right? So we wanna try and keep those sit bones like deep wide roots. And then again, from the ribs, we're gonna move into revolving, twisting your spine. So your belly button, right? We want your belly button to stay facing forward. So there's some core awareness, ribs spin, shoulders. And then, yeah, sure, maybe your head, but be really gentle with your head. Find just the right gentle twist for you and take three breaths. Following your third exhale, you'll spin back to center. Refine those grounded anchored sit bones, ribs, 
shoulders, maybe your head. Noticing what you feel as you go around. Three breaths. Anchor deep sit bones and back to center. Good. Let's take your right hand onto your right thigh bone and your left arm up. So from the ribs, okay, we're gonna side bend. So ribs, we're gonna lift up and come all the way over. Good, we can really stretch through that arm. Try to keep the shoulder drawing back. Three breaths. And then when you're ready, full exhale, second side. Reaching up, anchoring deep-rooted sit bones. Three breaths. And full exhale to feel your breath. And come back up, both arms. So gently swaying side to side. Leading from your abdominals, so right from the ribs. Shoulders, head. Good, one more each side. You could follow your breath here. And then back on up. You're gonna let your arms come down, hands rest on your knees. Take three breaths all together knowing that we're in community, even if we're not all in the same large room overlooking the lake. We're all in our own spaces in community. We can still know and feel we're all breathing together. I'm just gonna take the last two minutes here, right? Either in meditation Maybe you wanna lie back and take Shavasana. Maybe there's some stretching you wanna do. So it's not a whole lot of time, but just enough time, get a couple minutes to just reconnect, plug in, check in with what you have going on the rest of your day. And using this next two minutes to your full benefit. Maybe you choose meditation or resting. Maybe you choose some, some stretching, some movement. Wherever we are, can we all pause to feel the earth beneath us? To connect with our breathing, that relationship of our breath, with our state of being anchored and grounded. Checking in with your mental landscape. Maybe you're daydreaming. That's okay. How many times have we daydreamed and still felt ourselves breathing? Whatever you're doing here, wherever you are, coming back to your present time experience. Let's take three nice, full, strong breaths. So really, that idea, feeling of deep breathing, breathing from the inside out. And you can let your eyes gently open. You might start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And if you're on your back, drawing your knees in. And we'll slowly roll on over. And come on up to sitting. Ah. 
Thank you everyone so much. Thanks for your patience at the start. So we went a couple minutes over, we got, we got started a little late. So I apologize for going a couple minutes over. Um, thank you. If you feel you wanna draw your hands together. Thank you, thank you. Um, high fives on showing up and taking care of yourselves and, and practicing. Um, I'm gonna open up the Q and A. So if anyone has any questions, um, I'm more than happy to try and answer them. I feel really uh, grateful that the internet survived and I get some sun. Uh, thanks. I wish I could see. So I, I got a thanks again. Always great to hear your voice. I miss I miss seeing everyone in person. I miss our our big giant room overlooking the lake, especially on like bright sunny days like this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, everyone stay safe. It's so cold out. Yeah, I miss the lake view. So I'm happy to channel the lake view for all of us. Well, if we don't have any questions, then I think that wraps it up for us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, please join us in uh, next week, Tuesday, for more mindful movement. Um, and yes, it was great that the internet worked out for us today. Yeah. So thankful. Thank you, thank you. Thanks everyone. I'm so grateful for internet and I'm so um, grateful. I, I'm sitting here honestly kind of daydreaming about being in Monona Terrace looking over the lake on the sunny day. So, um, Hopefully we'll be back there before too long. All right, thanks everyone. Take care, have a good week, stay warm.